Nate Byam is one of my favorite all-time people. I recruited him to the University of Pittsburgh. I used to go into his high school, met his girlfriend. I would, you know, see him play basketball, so I got to be really close. I was a tight end coach. He was like the number five tight end in the country. We had a great relationship. He wanted to, he really wanted to come to Pitt, and he wanted to play with for me. And so he committed to play for us. So two days before the signing date, the head football coach calls me in, Dave Wanstead, and says, hey, man, I'm going to move you to the D-line. And I said, coach, we can't. Nate's going to be P.O. He said, we ain't telling him until Friday. So I was like, oh, boy. So he signs with us Friday. I call Nate on the phone and said, hey, man, I got some bad news. And he goes, what? And I said, I'm going to the D-line. And he goes, yeah, right, coach, because we always mess with him. He said, yeah, right, coach, yeah, right, coach. I know that's not true. And I was like, no, Nate, Nate, honestly, I'm coaching the D-line. He's like, no, coach, seriously. I said, Nate, I'm coaching the D-line. He goes, Okay, and he hangs up, and he doesn't talk to me for, like, weeks. He's so mad at me, and I felt terrible. He's like, he said, you did that on purpose. You were lying. And I was like, Nate, I didn't. It was just, I had no idea till Monday. So it was a funny, you know, our time together, and he's he's just a, he's an amazing young man. I love being around and hired, and he's um, he's a great father. If you ever saw him with his kids, I mean, I'm just super proud of him, and he's a great football coach. Fakes the flip. Looks in the end zone, and it is a touchdown by Wes Neske. You've gone 13 yards out. Coach Byron, just, he's just a great guy. You know, on or off the field, he's hes one of the guys that, um, you know, he's going to be your coach, but he's also, you know, one of your biggest, you know, supporters. And, you know, he's, he's going to get on you when you're messing up, but he'll, he'll praise you when you're doing things right. He's just all around great guy, great family. His biggest thing, I, I feel, is just his... Honestly, it's, it's between his experience and then his personality. His experience with the NFL, like I said, he just has, has so much knowledge and knows so much that you know he's able to teach us you know little tips and tricks here that can can help us with blocks or routes and everything. And then his personality, like I said, he's just an all-around great guy. So you know you can have fun with him and, and, and mess around, but then at the end of the day, when he when you need to get your work done, he's going to be on you and make sure you get it done. Snapped under Coupler, has plenty of time. Now he throws and wide open in the end zone as a touchdown. And that is guess who? It's Wes Neske again. You know, we call our guys the mutts in our room because, you know, we're all Danes, but we're different. We're hybrids. We got to do everything. You know, we have to block our tails off. We have to pass protect and we have to run routes and make plays in the pass game. So we do it all. And uh, we take a lot of pride in doing it all. We're not just trying to catch balls, but now it's starting to show up in the pass game as well. Uh, and I'm really proud of our guys for working their tails off and making plays. Under Cuffler fakes the reserve, reverse, throws for the end zone and a one-handed catch.